right, everybody. Whew. Oh, boy, today we got a trailer. Not just any trailer. The Morbius trailer. Y'all hear me now? Sony's second movie. Second, I guess I want to say second superhero movie since Venom. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all, man. I don't know a lot about the character. Um... I mean, I know Morbius was associated with Blade multiple times. I know that uh, he was... I remember him being in the Spider-Man animated series. Um, that's about it. I'm not going to say I didn't do no research before this trailer. I'm just going to essentially treat this as if I don't know anything about the character. Because that's just fair, in my opinion. I'm going to judge the trailer off it being a trailer. And not judge it based off of any kind of accuracy or anything like that. Um... So, I'll give y'all my thoughts after the trailer. And yeah, man, that's about it. Ain't, ain't nothing else to talk about. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what this is about. Um, so, let's do this. All right. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Please. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to your disease, you'll find it. I should have died years ago. No. Why am I still here if not to fix this? I have a rare blood disease, and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something, what is it? That's not exactly legal. I don't want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. At what cost? something that's broken until the remedy is worse than the disease Michael Morbius got tired of doing the whole good guy thing huh what's up doc Uh, let's 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 slow down for a minute. Let's hold up, hold up, hold up. Sony, Sony, what are y'all doing? Y'all can't be dropping no heat like that on me, man. Y'all can't do that. Yo, this trailer <laughs> looks so sick. Like, all right, so all right, I get the base of the story. Like, he has an incurable disease, but it's the classic like the person that has a disease is not worried about himself. He's more worried about other people and curing them. But eventually he gets to the point where he can't help himself, so he has to go find a cure for himself. Um, Michael Morbius. All right, cool, man. Jeez, uh, Matt Smith is in this movie too? What was he, the uh, 11th Doctor? Right? Yeah, he was the 11th Doctor, right? Man, look. The special effects look crazy. Special effects look crazy. This looks like a different level than Venom, because this is by Sony, remember. My light keeps flickering, flickering, probably because I'm watching this damn shit. But 
this looks like on a different level than Venom. It doesn't look the same. Which, I mean, why would it? But, um, like, we had, we had, I saw, I saw the Spider-Man in the background, y'all. But it was the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. So, does that mean that this movie is in the same universe as Sam Raimi's slash Tobey Maguire Spider-Man? Is that what I'm getting from this? Jared Leto looks good. I mean, to be fair, he looks like a vampire regardless. But he looks good. Like, he looks good in this movie. This looks like a role that fits him. Like, I, I didn't personally have an issue with his Joker. But a lot of people did. So, maybe this will be like a redemption kind of thing for them. But the dude is like what an academy award winning actor so he's really he's not a bad actor but just like any other actor or actress you work with what you got right like you work with whatever you work with and that's it um like i said man this this trailer just took me by surprise completely it took me by a complete surprise now i know the trailer dropped but i didn't know it was gonna be like this damn i'm excited this gonna be a a, a day one for me did I see Venom Day 1? No, I didn't see Venom Day 1. Not for any particular reason, but this is going to be a day one. Like, I'm going to have to request off to see this because he looks good at this trailer. Um, so we got a little bit of exposition on the plot. Um, we got, you know, a look at the special effects and stuff like that. A seemingly confirmed or confirmation that Morbius is set in the same Raimi universe. Now, moving on to the trailer. And here, here is the... Oh, before I get into the end of the trailer, they showed Jared Leto, um, I guess, in his full vampire look. It looks like they're going for a practical effect, which is good. Like, I'm not saying CG is bad, but practical effect has like an old school great feel to it. You feel me? Like, that's just good to me. Like, Killer Croc and uh, Suicide Squad looked amazing because they did practical effects and not CGI or motion capture. Um, now I'm assuming some of it's going to be CGI, but the majority of it is probably going to be practical. Kind of like how they did with Spider-Man suit, um, and Spider-Man in Civil War and everything. Like, in certain parts, the suit was completely CGI, but in, like, a lot of practical scenarios, it was a spandex suit. Maybe they'll do something similar. Now, moving on to meat and potatoes that they revealed Vulture. These dudes reveal Vulture. So that confirms that this movie... I mean, listen, listen, listen. Of course, I'm going off an assumption because Morbius never actually said his name. Um, but it, it, Michael Keaton, of all people, and he looks exactly how his character looked in Spider-Man Homecoming, it's Vulture. It's Vulture. And anyone who tries to tell me otherwise can go get bit by Morbius. That's Vulture. I don't care. He looks. He's in there. So this is connected to the MCU. It has to be. It's connected to the MCU. Oh, happy days. Sony and Marvel are playing well together. And now we might get Venom in the MCU. Or Tom Holland in, in a Sony movie. Shit, I fuck it. Either way, I want to do it. Listen, y'all. This trailer caught me by surprise. It was a very good trailer. I'm greatly looking forward to the second one. I'm looking forward to this movie. I'm burping, excuse me, count my ticket, but, all right, now, I still got the Black Widow trailer, I have the Resident Evil 3 trailer, and the new Bloodshot trailer to react to, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to those today, I'll try to at least get to one of the three, um, but regardless, hit that bell icon so y'all are notified when I upload, hit like and subscribe, or hit dislike, it's up to you, I hope I'm giving y'all good content, at least I'm trying my best. Um, but regardless, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think if you watched the trailer. Well, I would hope you did watch the trailer. But what do you guys think of this movie? Are you excited? Did it catch you by surprise? Does Jared Little look good? Does it not look good? Man, I want to talk to y'all because without y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. Without further ado, this has been Jack Joke Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.